What's up you guys Aruti welcome back to our channel we are going to continue with the core characteristics or the important aspects of self concept today let's begin the core of the self concept are those aspects that are most important to us so there are stuff like our gender identity our racial identity our ethnic identity our academic abilities our physical abilities our physical attraction all of these are very core and very important to our self concept whereas anything that is peripheral like your music preference or your food habits or your clothes like the way you dress up and your attire all of that are peripheral because they kind of keep changing so the core characteristics of self concept are self consistency self esteem self enhancement and self verification last week we have already seen self esteem so today we're going to complete the two points that are left of the core characteristics of self concept self consistency is anything that is consistent with our self concept we perceive those experiences and they tend to be um, in full conscious awareness so anything that is in sync or in harmony with our self concept we tend to perceive it accurately and and they are fully admitted in our conscious awareness for example um, whenever you came first in class or whenever you get, you got an a in a test you tend to remember it um and it can be easily recalled because it is consistent with your self cause your self concept it kind of reinforces your belief that you are intelligent but um things that are not inconsistent with your self concept um those sometimes are not accurate perceived they are very selective in perception also they can be distorted and they are not fully consciously aware of it so there are two ways in which we kind of try to protect our self concept and um self consistency in a way so one is self immunization so you would um actually trivialize any threatening situation by saying that that behavior is less important so maybe if you failed a test you would say oh i don't need that class anyway to pass and to get my degree it's not really important and the second one is mnemonic neglect so you would um, not really recall well you would have poor recall for any kind of negative feedback that is not consistent with your self concept okay um second one i spoke about was self esteem and i've already made a video it's um filled with lot of information about self esteem so i made a separate video on it then go check it out let's go to the third point third point is self enhancement and self verification self enhancement is where we elicit positive feedback and positive comments from others that are inconsistent with the ideas of that we have about our positive qualities whereas self verification is a little different it's about preserving our own image positive and negative about ourselves and we um, try to get feedback from others which kind of verifies or confirms the self perceptions we have about us positive as well as negative so that is the big difference between the two so self enhancement is about positive stuff we seek only positive comments and we want to see ki acha i am intelligent and other people also think about me as being intelligent whereas self verification is about positive as well as negative so we want to see if others see us the way we see ourselves so self verification is very important it kind of gives us a stability and consistency in this unpredictable world also a uh, self verification kind of um tells other people it's it's they see us the way we see ourselves so they understand how to treat us and what they should expect from us and that is it for today's video i know it was a very short one but i did not want i did not want to incorporate self esteem in this and make it really really long so i hope you understand i hope you learned from this video let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel and as always like subscribe and i'll see you next friday with another psychology video